Okay. All right, my friends, it's finally happening. U.S. is going to announce a fusion energy breakthrough where they have found an increase in energy due to this device that they have created. Now, what they have done is focused a bunch of lasers together through a venturi, which really increases their energy. See all these bright fields showing up? And they crashed it into a, what they call, I think it's a tellurium, uh, I think it's tellurium. Anyway, it's, a, it's a, a ball of material in there that can give off a lot of electrons as it fissions and fusions, which is they, 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 they break these particles apart and liberate them, and then what's left fuses back together as, as, a, as a different element. All right, now let's look at it carefully. And I'm going to tell you right now, we did the same thing, only we don't need the tellurium. Plus, this is designed for a huge operation to, to put this energy into the grid. And they're talking about 10 years or so before it will be ready, something like that. I think we can do this right now and almost instantly have this ready because all of this stuff exists. And we're only using lasers. And... and um, and, and they should be able to exist in something like this. Run a car. You carry this around. Have any voltage you want in here. And I'll show you how we can do it. And I'll show you the particles that they still don't understand. And they have to have all this exotic stuff. We don't need any of that stuff to do what I'm talking about. Let me show you a little closer. And don't forget, everything's based on the fact that we have to change the standard model and realize that protons are made out of tiny little particles and we can shoot those particles onto a substrate and collect that energy. It says it is still at least a decade away, maybe decades away from commercial use, this new touting of fusion. We're doing it right now and we can do it on a, a, a scale that is capable of anybody walking around with one of these. You could go in the woods, you could go fight fires, you could send them into disasters areas, you run your house, your cars, your refrigeration units, grow plants, lights, pump water, help the environment. No energy consumption whatsoever. It would feed back into itself and we harvest extra energy. And I'm going to show you that actually happening. Although I can't prove it, I need somebody to use some of their money they've been spending like crazy to just take a look at this, and I'll show you what I want them to look at. I can't do this myself. Okay, remember this. A proton is not like that with a couple of little quarks, and then you can smash it into a debris. It's a bunch of electrons, and electrons are dipoles. Each side of that is an electron. They're just like little bar magnets. That is a bar magnet, even though it's a little round particle. It's a bar magnet. You eight, put 1,823, something like that, of these little particles together, and that's one of these. They become stable at certain periods, and those periods are the, from the periodic table. But there's zillion particles. Hydrogen is not one big one of those in a tiny little particle just floating around it. It's one of these, which is all of what a proton consists of, which is about 1,823, I think, right around there, electrons. And then one more that wants to get in, but he said, no, you can't get in. That's what a hydrogen consists of. This is light accelerating. We created what I consider to be fission and fusion. And if you have a different opinion, I'd like to know why. Let me show you what it is. And don't forget, this is not vulnerable. You could carry these around with you. You could, have, you could run these off an assembly line thousands a day, millions a day. This is just off-the-shelf stuff. We did it with a cell phone and cheap lasers. So if you could do, somebody could make this thing work fabulously and you should be able to carry these around. And the amount of energy you're getting out of there is unbelievable if it's according to what they say. And I believe it is because of the luminosity. It's just off the charts. Okay, you know my claim that these are the only two particles that exist and we're showing them. This is light and light coming through a venturi creates fission and fusion, just as they are doing. Only we can do it and put this in a little tiny lunchbox and carry it around. 
This is fission, the black and the white broke apart, and that's fusion when they came back together. I think we can harvest it right there in a substrate. A substrate is just nothing that, other, other than a, a bunch of metals primarily that will absorb the electrons. These are just nothing but raw electrons. And they have come off, they have almost no mass. The black particle has almost all the weight and mass, and that is exactly what Fermilab and CERN claim. That's all mass, solid, fixed. That's a glowy, burny, and it is. And an atomic bomb, that one hits the house first, it just burns. No movement whatsoever. Second later, that one comes, pew, the whole house goes. Showing it over and over. I say we can get free energy right now, using the device I'm showing, creating fission, fusion, from muon and neutrino and electron neutrino turning into electron showers and sterile muons. If anybody's got any ability to help in this, they're spending billions of dollars trying to do this and I believe we can do this.